Hi everybody, Sonia Rollins. I am here for the foodie segment with Revolution Catering. They are located out of Woburn, but service the entire area, including of course Burlington. And um, we are very fortunate to have them as part of the membership of the Burlington Area Chamber of Commerce. What I love about our foodie segment is there's more than just food. You also can discuss drinks, and the great part about Revolution Catering is it, is it touches both of those. So I'm gonna have you gentlemen introduce yourselves first. Beautiful, I'm Kenny Belanger, manager of Revolution Catering. Great. And Michael is a mixologist and does um, different catering work as well here, right? Absolutely. All right, th that's fantastic. So, Kenny, if you were to talk about Revolution Catering, the elevator pitch for mm -hmm. people who are watching, what would it be? Yeah, so Revolution Catering is a full-service catering company. We specialize in corporate drop-off style catering, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, beverages, whatever it may be. And then the other thing that we also do is full service catering, on-site kitchen crews, premier bartending with craft cocktails, which we're going to show you a little bit of today. And, you know, the whole nine yards, we do that for social events, weddings, baby showers, in-house events for people. And we also do lots of corporate events in office or outside of the office at venues that we have great relationships with. That's great, and I love the idea of, of craft. I, I feel like they're coming out more, or maybe I'm making that up in my head, but I feel like people have signature cocktails Absolutely, now, right? Absolutely, yeah. Do they do it, um, do you help them create it, or do they tell you, or they tell you a particular liquor they're looking for? How does yeah. that work? It sort of depends. We, uh, you know, at the end of the day, we want to make our clients happy. Um, but, you know, Michael and I spend a lot of time developing cocktails. We have uh, an extensive background bartending and working in bars. So, you know, developing cocktails and making sure that there's a balance of flavors is really important to us. Um, oftentimes, a client will give us sort of a direction. We like these flavors. We like this sort of spirit. And then we take that direction and make a, a nice, balanced signature cocktail for their event that's custom for the event that they're holding. That's fantastic. Okay, so um, everybody knows who watches this show that Katie and I, and they get to see me eat, but usually sometimes Katie too, love to eat, but we also like to drink. So, Perfect. you know, we are, we, <laughs> yeah, we are absolutely <laughs> not opposed to that either. So let's talk about your signature drink. I know Mike's yeah. going to do one. For Beautiful, you. yeah. So we, uh, Michael and I just created our spring menu. We like to use seasonal, seasonal ingredients as well as syrups that we're making here in house. And the first drink that he's going to make here for you is a drink on our spring menu called the You Do You which is a mandarin vodka, a rose liqueur, fresh squeezed lemon juice, a little bit of sugar, and then a dash of bitters. It's light and delicate, but it also has like a nice backbone to it, perfectly balanced. Oh, I love you, do you? That's like great. Yeah. That's fantastic, <laughs> okay. And then, um, so if, if he were to make this drink as a signature cocktail mm -hmm. for an event, mm -hmm. then you have that available for people. Um, and then you have other drinks, of course, available for them. But they must really love talking to the bartenders. While, are you making them while you're there, or is it coming as one mix? It depends on the event. Um, sometimes, depending on the group size, uh, you know, we tend to batch our cocktails ahead of time. Um, that way we can expedite our service to our guests at an event instead of grabbing six different bottles to make one drink. We're grabbing one bottle to make one drink and it just speeds up the whole process. Um, for smaller groups when it's a little bit more intimate, we tend not to batch because it gives that those guests a little bit more of an experience of watching the bartender make every single you know cocktail and all the ingredients that they use. Okay, gotcha. So, um Go ahead, are you shaking? I'm ready to go, oh, yeah. We're waiting to see it. This is good stuff. So, you know what I've always wanted to ask? When people are doing drinks and they shake versus stir, shake yeah. and not stir, Great so question. can you give us that little tidbit Absolutely, while yes. this drink is getting ready? It's extremely easy to know the difference between a shaking cocktail and a stirred cocktail. Right. Any cocktail that involves any sort of citrus juice should always be shaken. Any cocktail that is a straight spirit cocktail uh, that doesn't contain any citrus juice should be stirred. So a uh, Manhattan or a martini, those cocktails should always be stirred. Um, a gimlet or a margarita, those should always be shaken. And that's the easiest way to decipher between the two. I love that. All right, that's fantastic. Look how beautiful that is. Beautiful. All there right, you do you. Tell me again what's inside it, just so we can. Yeah, so uh, a little bit of uh, Hanson Organic Mandarin Vodka. Nice and delicious, nice local fresh product. Got a little bit of Aperol in there. Just gives it a little bit of bitterness. Really brings out some of that Mandarin flavor you're looking for. A little bit of uh, this tomorrow, just uh, again, a little more of that orange flavor. Again, more bitterness, really just to kind of elevate the cocktail a bit. And then this is what I think is kind of one of the secrets of this cocktail. This is just a rose liqueur, very floral, 
brings out a lot of those kind of springtime elements, especially as the weather starts getting warmer. Really uh, kind of does uh, a lot for this cocktail. And then just uh, a dash of your little pay shot bitters. Really helps just brighten up the cocktail, give it that nice bright orange flavor you see there. A little bit of orange oil on top. Um, and it's a really, really well balanced cocktail. And it's it. beautiful. I am ready to try please, it. Please, yeah, please. Right. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, for those in the viewing audience who don't know this, not every bartender can go serve somewhere else. You have that's to right. have a liquor license that Thank actually you. can allow you to go off site. Yep, there's a couple ways around it. Um, you know, if it's a one off event, you can call the town and get a one day liquor license. Depending on the town, that can be more of a challenge than not. Yes. Uh, we're fortunate we have our own liquor license that enables us to travel around the state, order all the alcohol. Uh, all we have to do is simply call the town give them our license number, and let them know when the event's taking place, and then we're good to go. So we're covered in that aspect. All right, beautiful. So, so this right. is one of my favorite parts. So uh, I'm going to be showing you guys at home how to make a cocktail for yourself. Uh, as the weather's starting to warm up, you're going to start having people over, a lot of barbecues, maybe going to the beach, do a little, uh, you know, little barbecue as well. Um, so this is something that anyone can do. We're talking about you. You can do this at your home as well. Um, so the first thing that any, uh, anyone's going to have to do, just get all your ingredients together. So. Today I'm going to be making a margarita. Uh, it's our uh, personal recipe, our preferred recipe. So to do that, we're going to start with a little bit of uh, silver uh, tequila. Uh, our preferred tequila is Siete Lenguas, the Blanco variety. Going for. So I'm just going to take that lime here, do a little hand squeezer, squeeze a bit out. The, uh, the lemon and the lime, even though they're similar style of foods, they just add different elements to the cocktail. You're going to get a little more of that kind of tartness from the, uh, from the lemon. A little bit more of that um, kind of bitter flavor from the lime as well, and they just really complement each other very well. Again, everyone has their own recipe, but this is our personal recipe, so you can do the same thing with the lemon. And the last thing that we're going to be using here is uh, a little bit of simple syrup. Uh, what this is, it's uh, equal parts sugar and water, uh, just to again add sweetness to the drink. Um, and again, to do this, you just take a little bit of hot water, give it a little simmer on the stove, and then add equal parts sugar in there. Um, simple syrup is used by uh, mixologists all around the world. Um, what it does, again, just adds a little bit of that sweetness without adding any texture. You don't have to deal with any grains. Think about, you know, when you're enjoying a coffee, if you uh, put a little bit of sugar in there, you have to stir it forever to let it dissolve. If you use a syrup, you can uh, add the sweetness in there without having to deal with any of those uh, texture grains. So now that we've uh, made our simple syrup, got our fresh juices ready, we can uh, go ahead and get started. So. My personal recipe is an ounce and a half of uh, tequila. And again, anyone can do this at home. So we're going to ounce and a half of this tequila. Put that up here. I'm going to do a half ounce of this triple sec. And again, there are very, uh, there's different brands of triple sec. The one that you use doesn't totally matter. Um, you know, Grand Marier is a good example of uh, different styles of uh, triple sec. Um, and again, depending on what you want to use, we're just using the bowls today, but um, you know, again, just kind of getting some of that orange decor flavor in there for you. So we're going to do a half ounce of that. And then we're going to get our simple syrup, do a half ounce of that. Gonna be doing a half ounce of uh, lemon juice as well that we uh, pre-squeezed, and then another half ounce here of lime juice. Just about done. Now is my fun part. We're going to get the shaking on. Um, all these tins, all these equipments, you can pick uh, pick up at local stores um, all around the city. Um, a lot of them you can even get at you know local grocery stores. Uh, if you want certain things, uh, you know we have some neat toys. These uh, speed pours on top, these jiggers. Those you can get at local uh, either online or at local uh, cocktail bars as well. So now the way that we serve our margaritas here, these are going to be on the rocks. Uh, if you prefer to have a frozen margarita and you plan on putting this in your blender. You're going to want to bump those portions up a little bit um, because once you start adding ice to the blender and blending it, 
that's introducing a lot of water to that cocktail. So you're going to want to beef up the main ingredients of it to, you know, compensate for that additional water. But a, an, origi an original margarita mm -hmm. is on the rocks, yes? Correct. Yeah. Yep. And the last thing I'm going to do here is just add a little bit of a garnish. Um, garnish is a word that uh, a lot of bartenders use around. Really just to add a little bit of aroma, um, depending on the type of spirit that it is. It also adds a bit of flavor as well. Um, a, a common garnish for uh, a margarita would be some variation of a lime. Uh, like Kenny was saying, a lot of people uh, prefer some salt as well. I personally prefer my margarita with no salt, but if you'd like some salt, uh, I can definitely get, do a little salt rim on the glass for you. Um, and there you have it, a uh, margarita that you can make right at home. <laughs> One of us has to try it. <laughs> All right. That's right. That's a great margarita. Yeah. Right. It's a perfect margarita. Yeah. Um, that's okay, great. Revolution Catering. Are your website, does your website have information about menus and things like that? What's available? Yeah. If somebody were interested in getting in touch with you guys to do an event, what's the lead time really, do you think? Uh, it depends. Full service stuff, you know, obviously the more time the better it is for us to execute the event. But, you know, within a week's notice or so, we can usually put something together, um, sometimes less than that. Sometimes less than yep. that. Yep. All right, great. Um, that was a fun foodie. And yeah. for another, and another thing that I want to tell everybody is with every good food comes a drink, so we're happy to be here. But Revolution Catering, they're located in Woburn. They service everywhere in Massachusetts, but their sweet spot is obviously um, the 128 belt and all the way into the city, correct? Yeah. Um, a member of the Burlington Area Chamber of Commerce, we're proud to have them. They do some great work. Thank you both for joining us. For Back Talk, I'm Sonia Rollins.